Hello, we're going to be discussing a uh, piece, uh, the first dance of two dances from Baroque Spain, uh, which is the Gaitas, from the graded repertoire for guitar book one, Stanley Yates. He arranged this piece, but originally it was uh, by Lucas de Rabaez. And if I'm pronouncing that last name incorrectly, please let me know. Uh, this is an ABRSM grade two piece. It's very pretty and some of my students enjoy it quite a bit. So we're gonna talk about some details. It's in three, four, has a dotted quarter eighth note rhythm. Melody is something like this. One, two, three. There's also a thumb bass note on measure one. That should be nice and clear. One, two, three. So the dotted eighth note rhythm, practice that very slowly. Make sure that the eighth note appears exactly on the upbeat of beat two. Bum, 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 bum. It's pretty consistent throughout the whole first half of the piece. The first half repeats, repeats. First half repeats. Second half also repeats. Um, so do watch out for the key signature. There are two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Therefore, it's in the key of D major. Um, and because there are no notes in the first fret, the entire piece is going to be in second position. This gives some of my students some trouble, but just go slow. And when you're memorizing the piece, make sure you memorize it with the correct fingers in second position. It's very convenient because you have F sharp. A is the highest note. the D, a lot of my students revert back to their third finger, um, but you're in second position now. That's a second finger note. Um, second part of the song, second half, is more rhythmic. They embellish the melody. They simply add some eighth note ornamentation. encourage you to become familiar with the melody first and all the appropriate fingers. I think the melody is great rest strokes with I and M fingers. Um, it doesn't pose any problem with the thumb and the bass. There are no muted bass notes with the rest strokes from these fingers, so no problem. Um, one more thing to talk about in this piece is the trills. So the ABRSM guidelines is that grade two students should omit the trills but I have my students practice them. I think it's really good for development. They like the challenge. So let's talk a little bit about that. There are two trills in this piece. And when you get to the fourth measure of the first phrase, you encounter the first trill. So what is a trill? Well, here it's simply one hammer on and a pull off. So I'm gonna get these fingers out of the way so you can see more clearly. Although you should not practice this way. Fingers should be over the fretboard. But the note is played, downbeat of measure four. You play the F sharp. You play it with the right hand. You do what's called a hammer on or uh, ascending slur. They are synonymous. You're gonna hold the F sharp down, hammer the string with, with finger two. Make sure the sound is nice and clear. And then you also pull finger two off the string. That's a pull off or a descending slur. Ascending because the note goes up. Descending because the note goes down. So the three motions necessary to execute the trill is the playing of the right hand, hammer on and the pull off. string one is easier because there's no obstacles for the finger to pull off the string. There's a slur later on on the piece on string two. It's a bit more difficult. We're going to talk about that. But when you're practicing this piece and you want to practice the slur, don't be in a hurry to make the slur fast. Number one priority should be make it clean. 
and make sure the slur is nice and loud. So hammer harder than you think you need to and your finger will get used to the, to the feeling. When you get to the slur, slow down a little bit if you need to. Cleanliness, making the sound clean is your first priority. And then you'll speed up gradually as it becomes comfortable. Second phrase, there's a slur on string two. So you get to that second from the last measure. It's the same deal. You're doing the same left hand fingers, except Instead of the slur from F sharp to G, the second slur in the second part is C sharp to D, which is a little bit trickier because your finger doesn't have as much room. There's a first string in the way. Some things to be careful of. If you do a nice loud hammer on to the D, but you're not muting string one, you can play string one by accident with your left hand. We obviously don't want that. And I'll go ahead and tell you a good slur technique. Do a hammer on. Keep your finger on the fretboard. And if the note, the hammer, the, the note will be nice and loud when you do the pull off. that's helpful go nice and slow clean notes are way more important than speed speed will happen over time so very pretty piece if you have any questions please let me know I look forward to talking to you next time and happy practicing